Hello, my gorgeous sparkly scarabrumptious, delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are looking at you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, snake in the grass, all right? I don't know, I don't know, let's see. Please show me angels what is happening for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and their person in, uh, I was going to say January, June 2023. My, I'm telling you, my timeline has been so off recently. Mm, the Grim Reaper fell down from the deck. Mm, okay, so, you know, we assume some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person in these you versus some readings. And I think in this case, uh, something ended here quite, um, quite um, definitely. But there's still a question mark over whether it's truly over. I think your person is asking themselves this question. The Eight of Wands was just beneath that. Let's see, Aquarius. Please show me angels. What is the situation for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and their person? Defensive energy, a lot of fighting. Seven of Wands. Wow, sir. It was like, is this love or is this a competition? <laughs> and then, oh my gosh. This person is just like... <laughs> They just won't let this go. Whoever this is on your mind, baby, is it over? It ain't over till the Aquarius sings bit bow. Hmm, wheel of fortune. <laughs> Person's feelings for you. They're, you know, and their intention, what's going on with them right now. They're trying to change their fortune in this situation. They're trying to turn, turn the wheel of fortune back around. They want it to come back around to you. Mm, they see you as the empress, emperor, anyone in between. Gender is arbitrary, baby. Uh, but they do see you as, you know, the, the archetypical other for them. The, you know, the one and only, the, the bib -bib. You are the bib -bib, the crown bib -bib, No matter what. There was, so, there was a lot of arguments, a lot of, like, very differing opinions. If it was a new connection, it could have even been, um, you know, somebody who was fighting with you over everything. <laughs> Like three dates and you're like arch enemies, but the chemistry is off the charts and you got the devil here as well to tell you the chemistry is off the chart and this person's intention is not to let go of you because the devil never lets go, baby. Devil wants, the devil catches you, baby. <laughs> Once she signed that little, you know, on the dotted line with your little pinky, <laughs> uh, devil's got you. So this person is not intending to let go. Uh, maybe you already know that, maybe you intuit it. Maybe not. Something could have happened here, like could be a fresh separation from March mm, or from October or Capricorn season uh, last year and this year. Let's see. Please show me. Oh, uh, sorry. Wrong deck, baby. Mommy's been like, you know what? Mm, baby, mommy's been missing all her lives recently. I have been feeling very off with the moon energy and I just, um, I had to take a little bit of rest because it's my time of the month and uh, the lives take so long sometimes I just don't want to uh, you know overexert myself but we're going to be back on track around Tuesday I think we're going to do another life mm, yeah this person's like you know they could have rejected you in some way because they wanted to have the upper hand they wanted to be chased they played mind games with you you know it could be a case of you told this person you know what just to let you know if, even if it was a fresh connection you know just to let you know uh I have, you know, this issue, you know, with abandonment or rejection, and they, like, played that like a fiddle, like a fid the fiddler on the roof, like all the roofs, you know, like, they're, like, playing that fiddle every street corner. <laughs> the whole town knows this fiddler, you know. Not good, because they're trying to get the upper hand. And it could be, like, a very relentless energy, so you could have met, you became arch enemies straight away. Uh, the uh, sexy energy was off the charts, but at the same time, this person was really annoying to you because, like, maybe you're left in their right, like, in your politics, or, like, you're, like, um, a militant vegan, and they're, like, they own, like, a, like, I don't know, like, a meatpacking thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's something here that was just very much at odds, and despite of everything, this person is just, like, I'm going to have this baby no matter what, but they rejected you in the past. Because they were trying to play a game of domination. The uh, Six of Cups between you, there is a soul connection here. Definitely. There's a soul connection here. That's why this... And maybe they needed to lose you. You know, this fate card, this destiny in the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> it's also telling me that maybe they needed to lose you to understand uh, what they had in you. And you're also in the Wheel of Fortune card. You know, all of us fixed signs are uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and... Um, 
Taurus. Um, but yeah, the Six of Cups, like, I mean, I think you're both aware that there's something very special about this connection. Also, Aquarius, before I keep on waffling, oh my gosh, I forgot to say, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot again. Ah, thanks for watching, baby. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. I see you. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. We're also doing a yes or no question today at the end of the reading, so stick around for that because I love you, baby. Oh, boo boo. This, like, this person of yours is difficult. You were like so, like, ten of cups. You're like, yeah, I'm just looking for love and happiness because you are the love and happiness with the Aquarius and the deck and, and the astrology. You're like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I just want to vibe high and meet someone who's going to vibe high with me in the rainbow of life. <laughs> and this one's like, yeah, I want to do that, but I'm the devil. So let's vibe high together on your rainbow and I'm the devil. I'm going to come and burn it down a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's like an angel and devil dynamic a little bit or a goddess and devil dynamic here between the two of you person could be a um, successful business person. I mean, they, they're the one with the money. You're the one with the, one with the soul. Um, I don't know. Um, if it was a more established connection, this person was neglecting their duties in, this, in the situation. So they weren't fulfilling you. You built this beautiful uh, house, your home together, ton of cups. You know, you had this beautiful relationship or, you know, stable dating situation with a label. <clears throat> And this person, you know, appreciates how much of a soulmate you are to them. Maybe you met when you were very young as well. It could be like a high school sweetheart who turned into your, um, you know, soulmate for life. You got married. Mm. And at some point, this person started neglecting you, not understanding your needs, not fulfilling you emotionally. You know, four of cups. There was some kind of a short changing emotionally. For some of this person's excuse was that they were focusing on studies or work, focusing on other things. You felt like this person was prioritizing maybe also their friends and other fun times over you or their own pleasure. So, you know, you felt neglected. They didn't organize date nights with you. They didn't spend quality time with you, stuff like that. And now this person has lost you. And now they're like, oh, let me turn this back around because Aquarius is the light of my life. I want to be on this rainbow. Yeah, I am the devil, but whatever. Could have been spending too much time at work as well. What is this person going to do? They're going to reach out because they can't help themselves in the next five hours, five days, five weeks. Um, I don't think it's going to take five months, five weeks. This is your June 23 energy. Within five weeks, this person's going to be reaching out. <laughs> but it's going to be the devil's way, so it's not going to be an apology. It's going to be like, you know what, Aquarius, and another thing. <laughs> you know, they're going to try and start like some kind of a fight or even like try and tease you a little bit like it's a mock fight because they don't want to really necessarily come in like, with their knees bent, but they want to come in. Um, you know, uh, sorry, maybe I just had to move myself when I felt the, the pangs, the pangs of um, moon goddess <laughs> energy time of the month. Um, yeah, they don't want to come in and say like, I am, I am responsible. They want to come in and be like, so Aquarius, like, I see you changed your hair. It looks lame. You know, it's going to be almost like teasing, childish. Um, they're going to try, you're going to try and gaslight you a little bit into letting them off the hook. Don't let them because they are the devil. They don't know what they're doing. The seven of chalices. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I'm getting a, a predominantly positive energy from this person. There's um, four fixed signs here, Capricorn and Taurus, that you could be dealing with. It doesn't have to be. It could just be in their aura and their energy. They could come across as one of those boo-boos. Um, I think it's a difficult one. I think it's, diff it's a difficult energy to deal with. If you feel like it's your soulmate, you love them very much. I don't see like prize douche flu cheating, you know, like falsifying stuff. What I see here is just someone who's difficult and they love you very much and they're going to try and turn things back around so that they can be back in your good graces. <laughs> the little devil is <laughs> trying to get in mm, on the Aquarius lab. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. So to you, it's all about free will on this channel. All right, let's do your uh, yes or no question. Uh, just go ahead and think of your question. I'm going to ask the angels now. Please, angels, show me for my blue angel Aquarius. Is the answer yes or no? Oh, the answer is no, Aquarius. But uh, it's also saying don't worry about it. Don't worry about it so much. It's going to work itself out regardless. There's a different solution coming your way. Um, and sometimes it's just like just let it flow, let it go. Doesn't, it's almost like if it did happen, if you keep pushing for this to happen, or you know, if this is the wish that you want, it's going to be a disappointment when you get it. So it's all, also like careful what you wish for, because it might just happen, so don't push for it so much. If it doesn't happen organically, I would let it go. Uh, and if it's too much of a struggle, I would just you know, let the mourning process uh, come through, uh, th through this. 
and also don't worry about it so much because if, like I just say the questions about like is my business going to be successful um in like a specific way it's not that way but there's a different way that it will be because that person that has more cups that are upright uh, here in this card they're just not seeing it so there's a different solution that hasn't been revealed to you yet a different person a different lifestyle a different choice that is better for you and for you were you to receive this uh wish you would not be happy. This is a blessing in disguise. Aw, Aquarius, thank you uh, for uh, watching as always. Mm, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, share your yes or no question. If you're enjoying these yes or no questions, we do the pendulum and the cards for that one. Mm, also, Aquarius, if you are interested in purchasing a reading, now is a great time to do so because my pricing will be going up. We are still on the old prices in the description box below. You have all the info on how to book. So for the next week, I will be taking bookings on the old prices if you want to reach out now is a great time <sighs> what else can i tell you you're just so scrumptious i just love you okay you're my favorite you know your mommy's favorites uh i'll see you next time my baby stay sparkly stay gorgeous stay moisturized and may the angels protect you mm -hmm. <laughs>